Ethan Morgetti images it's only been two weeks, but Tony Romo is already one of the best color men in the NFL. After an impressive Week 1 debut on the Raiders vs. Titans game, where he called multiple plays correctly before they happened, Romo headed to New Orleans with the Patriots to call their game against the Saints. In short, he didn't disappoint. On at least three plays for the Saints, the former Cowboy quarterback predicted New Orleans' play before the snap, just by looking at the formation and using his knowledge of team tendencies. The most notable was a Drew Brees touchdown pass to Brandon Coleman, which he correctly forecasted heads up for the fade inside to 16, as soon as Coleman lined up inside of tight end Josh Hill. On how set back after to September 17, 2017 Romo was spot on later in the game as well, correctly analyzing the Saints' offensive strategy and determining whether or not they would run a play on a pair of key fourth downs two fourth downs for the Saints, Romo calls out whether the ball would be snapped by the personnel for the offense. Right both times. Zito at Zietz September 17, 2017 As Boston.com noted, plenty of personalities from around the NFL world are already on board the Romo hype train also, Romo is terrific in the booth. He predicted the throw to Coleman, is pure gold to listen to as a commentator. Doug Moore at Mirinville September 17, 2017 I no longer follow an NFL team. I just watch Tony Romo's game each week, Greg Rosenthal at Greg Rosenthal September 17, 2017 Not sure I've ever heard a better NFL analyst than Tony Romo. Completely dialed in. Picks apart everything before the snap. Dan Wetzel at Dan Wetzel September 17, 2017 Finally, Romo also managed to explain Bill Belichick's defensive genius. With the Saints in a Latigum red zone situation near the goal line, the Pats lined up five potential rushers across the line of scrimmage. Romo noted that the Pats would usually only rush three or four of the five out of that particular form of Sean but knew why Belichick decided to bring all five on that particular play. With the game out of hand, he explained, Belichick uses the extra plays to sway analytics and impeded future teams from predicting what defense New England will run on any given play. By switching up his tendencies and using more aggressive blitzes later in the game, with a victory almost assuredly in hand, he can force other teams to study extra looks and not key in on his favorite ones. It's been an impressive debut so far for Romo, who is probably the first broadcaster ever to successfully get inside the head of Bill Belichick. Next week, he'll travel to Lambeau Field to call Bengals Packers. With another play calling performance like this week's, he might even be able to make a Bengals game entertaining. Like what you read read more by me here and follow me on Twitter at Adanstinson.